All right. Fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes on social media. Uh, my name is Judson Powell. Please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button. Um, okay, so the, the whole Breonna Taylor thing just uh, basically hit ahead. Not really, because they still got to have a trial. They, I guess they charged one of the officers or whatever. But they let him go on $15,000 burn, which is about $1,500. My son got $1,500. <laughs> all right. Now, I want to talk about something. That's, that's, first of all, um, they don't really care about us. In the words of Michael Jackson, they don't really care about us. Um, I'm an empath, which is something I don't tell everybody but I'm putting it out there. I'm actually an empath, so I feel I feel stuff. Right now, I feel like really emotional. In fact, I was contemplating not even doing this video because I'm probably gonna end up, I don't know, crying or saying something that I don't wanna say because I'm, I'm right now I'm very emotional because spiritually my feelings are, are like really strange and I, I can't really control to say what I'm gonna do or say. So, uh, I want to cry, tell you the truth. Um, but here's the thing. Once again, I, I, I pull up, you know, things out of, try to pull things from my psyche that will prevent certain reactions or certain actions from taking place. As an empath, you know, you feel, you feel people. And I've been feeling Breonna Taylor for like, for, you know, pretty much ever since it happened. Let's, 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 let's just say this. This is a woman who was sitting in her own house, minding her own business, and she's dead. And nobody is held accountable. The other thing is, is that they found out it wasn't a no-knock warrant. It wasn't even a no-knock warrant. So why, why, why in the world would you go in guns a-blazing when it wasn't even a no-knock warrant, but I guess when it comes down to the life of a black person, and especially a black woman, they just don't care. So, and, and the, the justice system response to it is also that they don't care. In the last couple of days, there have been, you know, like in Iowa, you know, they set a man on fire. Some white, four white people set a black man on fire. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff all over the internet. And, you know, it's, it's, it's getting to the point now where, you know, like there, there's like very few alternatives, you know, the alternatives to war are, are becoming very, very few. Let's be let's just be honest, you know, because even, you know, your president keeps putting stuff like that out there. Um, you know, the president said, you know, tried to say that certain people have superior genes and all of this kind of stuff, man, is is is, is absolutely crazy. Um, but the alternative to war is let's war with our money. G O D, generator, operator, destroyer. G O D, government of defense. Their god, their literal god, is money. Okay, so that's how you hurt them. You notice every time there's a financial boycott or anything, even you know, even back from the from the 50s and 60s when you took their money away, Wells Fargo CEO came out and said that they couldn't find enough qualified black people. <laughs> that I'm like, I'm like, how many? You know, at my graduation from Hampton University, I mean, there was a few hundred business students. You know, there. You know, I saw. You know, every time I graduated, I, I saw people that, you know, had MBAs, all this kind of stuff. We got people that have been, you know, CEOs of corporations and, and all that kind of stuff. But yet still, you you say that, they, you know, he apologized, but you know why he apologized? You know what? The only reason why they ever apologized to us is when they fear their money is going to lose. They're going to lose money or they can't get the money. That's the only thing that, that really worries them. So you, we need to shut everybody down. You know, shut them, shut them down. Pull all your money out of Wells Fargo. In fact, you, if you can, pull all your money out of every bank and put it into black banks. 
they're a black band. You know, it was, I was shocked. I, I was in a, I was in a, a, one of those chat rooms or whatever, and it was like they would people were talking about that, and it was like uh, there are black banks. Pe- there are people that don't even know there are black banks. So when we first started the um, the nonprofit and we and we first started the um, the ministry, we kept our money in black banks. It was difficult. Don't get me wrong. They weren't, you know, it wasn't like it wasn't quite like a a, a, a Wells Fargo experience every time you went in, but yet still, they 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 could do the same thing. Okay, and all I can say is black banks get better, and the people that they say that that they don't they don't want to hire hire those people, and y'all go and flood the black banks with money, and then black banks loan that money out to black businessmen and black. Uh, business women uh, and black entrepreneurs that need that money start yeah you know that's the first thing I, I, the first the first step of our cognitive dissonance is what is to, is to love you and love yourself and love our people see that that's what you know when you see when you see each other on the street instead of me mugging each other smile at each other and say hey hi how you doing man what's up What's up, black man? What's up, black woman? You know, st- st- we got to stop getting hung up because they don't care about us. They don't care about you. They don't care. They don't care nothing about your life. They don't care nothing about your family. They don't care nothing about you. They really don't. And we still walking around talking about, you know, talking about this and that and all these, all these different, you know, things. Get out of their religion. Leave their religion alone. I keep telling y'all that. They don't have they, their religion is evil. Christianity, Islam, all of them. They're all evil. Every single one of them because all they dare to do is to bind your spirit and to keep you from flying. I'm just trying to tell you I'm, and I'm I'm smiling. I'm smiling because if I don't smile I'm going to cry. But I'm just telling you stop it. You got to you got to change your mind. The only thing your mind do, you know, I, one of my friends was talking about the, the your brain and stuff. He's like, you know, and, and talk about being able to comprehend everything you put in your brain. But guess what? You don't have to. Your brain is a is a sender receiver. Your brain is like a walkie talkie. When you open that third eye, when you open that third eye, then you can talk to the Most High, and the Most High will explain every situation. The Most High will will come to you, and you will come to you will come to them. That's what that, and that, and that's why you know I pre, even the stuff with the netters and all that kind of stuff. See, the white man knows your nature, you don't. So he uses your nature against you. That's what he does. And money is his god. Government of defense, and God we trust. And the government of defense. In the generator, operator, destroyer. That's who we trust in. Which means we trust ourselves. We don't trust you. <laughs> See those acronyms which were set forth. And we, we walk around, we hate. Oh, you know, we, we got people posting stuff about how they hate the Moors and all that kind of stuff. But that's what the Moors came up with that. And the white man ran with it. I'm just telling you. You can hate whoever you want people hate the masons or you know illuminati or whatever but that's what they use to build this country it's our spiritual knowledge and wisdom it's our spiritual science it's science how do you think we became the master builders and why is it in that why is why is the master builder in every single religious book i'm just saying it wouldn't be in there if it, if it was no credence to it right so they built they just made religious books and just put stuff in there because no because they wanted to, they wanted power and control, and they wanted power and control over us. Why? Because we are the children of the Most High. We are the children of the Son. And like I said, take the test. That's why I said you put you put Kamala, but I would the whole thing. Put Kamala Harris out in the sun and see what color she changes. See what color her mother changes. See what color her daddy changes. And if she got melanin, she's black. Stop trying to stop trying to pigeonhole and divide people and all that kind of stuff. You don't know what's in you, but you do know that melanin is in you. There's a there's a single there's a single gold standard, and then people talk about oh we got the master race. Have you, did you see the four people that that murdered that man in in 
in, in Iowa. Did you see what they look like? I mean, for real, they, they look retarded. I don't care, sue me too. You look retarded, and you are retarded. If you would set another person on fire thinking that that you have that you are like this 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 you know this god person or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That you think that you're that you're superior to anybody else. You're not. And we're not. Because I tell y'all all the time. You know, I, I don't because I don't agree with black power. I don't agree with white power. I don't agree. But guess what? I got a power that I now agree in. It's called green power. Get paid. And be and be the master builders that you are because they changed the system around. The system that's that's there now is not the same system that it was, you know, in ancient times. So people, because people are running, what are they running around? Because they'll they'll do anything to keep power and control to keep what the money. What do you think the police do? The police are overseers of what? They're overseers to make sure that you don't rob and steal all their money or or destroy their property. You know, that's all it is. I mean, really, when you really think about it, why they put their neck, why they put their foot on this man's neck for eight minutes? They said he tried to pass a phony $20 bill. <laughs> so he's supposed to die over $20? You know, ridiculous. $20, you, you can barely feed, you can't even feed your family one meal hardly for twenty dollars if you got a family of four twenty dollars gonna really feed, how does it gonna feed your family i'm just i'm just i'm just trying to get you to you know to to go back and forth you know and i'm trying to keep my 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 emotions in check so this is kind of just a rant but get the money reparations that's what we need to go for forget all this other stuff because they're not gonna stop you can see look they, they, we done had protests, we done had rallies, we done painted streets, we done took down statues, we done did all this stuff, right? But the bottom line is, still ain't nothing changed. Still the same night, they what? They kill a black man, they kill a black woman, they don't care. They really don't. You know, and, 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 it's, all, and it's all based on what? It's based on man-made divisions, the codes and scriptures and all that kind of stuff. You know, how can how can we figure out a way, you know, and 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 here's the really sad the, and one of the saddest parts is is that the the African the African civilized the European or Caucasian. Right? They were they were they were mountain cave dwellers historically with no history. And we give, you know, we want, we run around talking about they Bible and they this that that. Why? Because <laughs> it's a lie. You know, if it was, if it was actually so, if it was actually so true or whatever, whatever, you know, how come it hasn't worked for us? There are people right now. There are there are people playing to Jesus the whole time that that they were considering all this stuff with Breonna Taylor, right? You know, out of y'all, all y'all deities, I'm gonna go with Amon Ra. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the sun because the one thing I do know is the sun comes out every day, no matter whether I'm here or not, all right? And one thing that I do know is that is that the sun provides warmth, it provides food, it provides water, it provides all the things that I need. You know, not sure about everything else. But, but money is their God. So take the money. Get the money. Stop spending your money. I keep telling y'all, stop spending your money with them. I'm back to my boycott situation. Don't, don't buy stuff from them. For what? Why? Because they don't care about you. What they going to do? They're going to they gonna, they gonna take your money and they're going to kill you tomorrow. And why y'all watch Fox... Why y'all watch shows on Fox and why black actors and actresses are acting on Fox, I have no idea. That's they that's they network. That's the white supremacy network, the white nationalist network. They don't love you and they don't care about you. 
that's 15 minutes is up. My name is Judson Powell. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And uh, man, no justice, no peace.